We all know that sutta in the canon about the acrobats. And half of the sutta says it's by looking after yourself that you look after others. In other words, you are very mindful. You establish mindfulness and you try to develop that into concentration. And as you get your mind more under control, with a greater sense of well-being inside, other people are going to benefit too. If inside all you have is turmoil, it tends to spill out. It harasses the neighbors. That's one half of the sutta. We remember that half because it's got the image of the acrobats. There's another half, though, where the Buddha says, by looking out after others, you look after yourself. Looking out after others requires what? It requires patience, endurance. It requires equanimity, kindness, and goodwill. Goodwill and kindness are two different things. Goodwill is basically wishing for their happiness. Kindness is basically sympathizing with the other person, what their feelings are like, putting, as the Thais say, putting your heart in their heart, putting their heart in your heart. Trying to think about what it's like to be that person. So that when you talk to that person, you speak in a way that you would like to be spoken to. Unfortunately, there was no image that the Buddha gave for that side. But it's equally important. As we live together as a group in a, in a difficult time like this, we don't want to burden one another unnecessarily. Remember, everybody's going through hardships. Everyone's going through restrictions. And so we're trying to be kind with one another, sympathize with one another. It makes it a lot easier on both sides, and you benefit from the kindness that you show. So it's a double process of training. You train yourself inside to sort out your various voices in the committee that get in the way of your settling down the various urges, the various strange energies in the body that sometimes make it hard to settle down. You work through those, and people outside are going to benefit. You benefit immediately, but other people will benefit too. But then you also train from the outside in. You treat other people with kindness. You learn how to use kind voices in yourself. Treat them with goodwill, patience, equanimity. You learn to use those voices with yourself. makes it a lot easier for the mind to settle down and be able to live with itself. So you can live with yourself, you live with others, we can live with one another. In this way, the difficulties of the confinement, the difficulties of the isolation, are lessened. Because we know that as a group we all have one another's well-being in mind. <laughs>